I am Father Dion, a Catholic chaplain of the Philippine Army, and this is Salita ng Diyos, ang ating gabay. Today is Tuesday of the 15th week in Ordinary Time, and from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, Glory to you, O Lord! In the towns where Jesus had worked most of his miracles, the people refused to turn to God. So Jesus was upset with them and said, You people of Chorazin are in for trouble. You people of Bethsaida are in for trouble too. If the miracles that took place here had happened in Tyre and Sidon, the people there would have turned to God long ago. They would have dressed in sackcloth and put asses on their heads. I tell you, on the day of judgment, the people of Tyre and Sidon will get off easier than you will. People of Capernaum, do you think you will be honored in heaven? You will go down to hell. If the miracles that took place in your town had happened in Sodom, it would still be standing. So I tell you, on the day of judgment, the people of Sodom will get off easier than you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bethsaida is the place where Jesus performed the miracle of the multiplication of loaves and fish, while Capernaum, the hometown of Simon Peter, is the second home of Jesus during his public ministry. In these places, Jesus performed miracles and mighty deeds. Thus, they can be considered pilgrimage sites, important places. Yet, they are condemned. And why? It is because they have failed the Lord's expectations. Despite the divine gift, they have not responded accordingly. They have not changed their hearts. That God always work wonders in our lives through blessings and opportunities. We must not waste them. We must do what God expects of us. We must change our hearts. We must return to God and grow in holiness. We must reciprocate God's goodness with good deeds Reform and change lives. We Catholics, for instance, have received so much from God. In the church, Jesus has left all the necessary means for our salvation and sanctification. He has provided them to us in abundance. We have the sacred scripture and the sacraments. The church, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, had compiled the books of the sacred scripture and determined its canon for us. Yet, we often neglect to read prayerfully the sacred scripture. And we do not take advantage also of the sacrament of penance. Many of us Catholic regard participation in the Sunday Eucharist more as an obligation rather than as a feast of grace. Thus, today's gospel challenges us to respond accordingly to God's blessing and to the opportunity God gave us. Let us express our gratitude to God by our reform, transform, and change lives. And this is Salita ng Diyos, ang ating gabay. Let us pray. Lord God, Almighty Father, Creator of mankind and author of peace, those who take refuge in you will be glad and forever will shout for joy. Protect our soldiers as they discharge their duties. Protect them with the shield of your strength and keep them safe from all evil and harm. Grant them courage and hope. May they ever experience your firm support, gentle love, and compassionate healing. Be their constant companion and their refuge in every adversity. Be their power and protector, leading them from darkness to light. May the power of your love enable them to return home in safety, that with all those who love and care for them, they may ever rejoice and praise you for your loving care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. And may the Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.